Let me share my reflection from the Gospel according to Luke chapter 5, verses 12 to 16. I was struck by verse 16. But he withdrew to the wilderness and prayed. I need to finish my assignments. I need more time to sleep. Puyat ako. I'm tired. Gutom na ako eh. I'm sleepy. I'm late for work. I have tons of work to do. I need to clean the house. I need to cook. I need to visit my parents' house. I need to run errands. I have to I have a basketball game. One more episode. I'm lazy today. I do not feel well. Maraming tao sa bahay. Maiingay ang kapitbahay. Kailangan ko mag-OT. I need to prepare for my talk. I need to get ready for my service tomorrow. I do not have time to pray. I am very busy. In the Gospel today, we have heard that people from all over flock to see Jesus no? when they learn about His miracles. They probably were curious to hear Him speak. And mostly, they wanted also to get healed. I can imagine na walang puknat ang dating ng mga tao. Walang katapusan ng pila. Ubus ang energy ni Lord. Nakakapagod. And yet, amidst everything, Jesus would slip out to a deserted place and pray. Yes, it was important to heal the people. But it was more important for Him to commune with the Father, to prepare for His real mission to save all of us. No excuses for Him to pray. I believe this is what the Gospel is reminding us today. Are we too preoccupied with many things, be it important or less important things, that we make excuses to pray to the Lord? We need to commune with the Lord, the source of our life, the one who gives meaning to our existence, the one who makes us whole. No excuses. Lord, give us the grace to make no excuses to be with you daily in prayer, no matter how busy we are with many things. Give us the grace to experience you more in our personal prayer life. Amen.